Traveling this bending road is always an adventure, and I'm glad we can do it together. It's easier together because no matter where we go in life, two things are for certain. One, you will eventually come to a bend in your road, and two, God will always see you through. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and click the subscribe button so that you know when I upload my next video. In this way, we travel together and we encourage each other along the way. Hi, welcome to The Bending Road. Boy, we are in Advent already. Can you believe that? It's just, the, the year is just moving on. I mean, we just, time keeps rolling, right? We're traveling this bending road and we're moving through life and all of a sudden we realize, oh, another month has passed. Oh, another couple months, another season has passed. And before we know it, the snow will have come and gone and we'll be back to spring and summer and it will roll on again and again. Time just flies and there's there's no stopping it. So one thing that we have really no control over. I was thinking this week about Proverbs 16, 9. It says, in their hearts, humans plan their course or some translations say their way. They plan their way, but the Lord establishes their steps. You know, we think I'm going to do this or that, or I'm going to go here or there, or I'm going to, I'm going to retire in this amount of time. I'm going to, um, I'm going to do this, or I would never do that or what we, we make all these plans. My calendar is full of plans. My checklist is full of things that I need to do. And I have all sorts of ideas of what I'm doing tomorrow or in a year or several years from now. And all that planning is fine. All of that is good as long as I remember that the Lord orders my steps. The Lord plans my steps. We don't know. We don't know what is around that bend for tomorrow, do we? I think it actually gives us some peace. It actually gives us some comfort if we step back and say, I really don't know. I'm going to make these plans. And Lord willing, that this or that will happen. But I don't really know. And then I can relax as things come and they change my plans and things get moved and shifted around or I round that bend in my road and something is there that I never saw coming. I've had a few bends in my road where I've rounded that bend and I've ran right smack into the middle of, I just said I would never do this. But here I am. I'm going to do it. Things happen. Things happen. So as I was preparing for my message for Sunday, I got to looking at the New Testament passage. This is for the second Sunday of Advent. So it's 2 Peter 3, 18 to 15. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord is not slow in his promise, as some understand slow, slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. The heavens will disappear with a roar and the elements will be destroyed by fire and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you be? You ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God and speed its coming. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire. Then the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with the promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless blameless and at peace with him. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation, just as our dear brother Paul also wrote you with the wisdom that God gave him. God is not slow in returning. And, you know, it's kind of, I think we're kind of spoiled. We enter Advent, this period of waiting, this period of expectation. And we know when Christmas is coming. Christmas will be here on December 25th. And, and then the Advent season will be over and we'll enter Advent. 
we enter the Lenten season in the spring, and we know when that will be over. It will be over at Easter, and then we enter the, the Easter tide, and, and, and then the next season comes around. And our calendar is, is set. We know when the sun rises and when it's set, except for that daylight savings time thing that kind of throws things off, doesn't it? But we know. We know. And yet this one thing we do not know. We do not know when we will round that bend and find the Lord coming in a cloud. Like a thief in the night, it says. Nobody is ever, ever prepared for that thief to show up. Now, God is not late in coming. God is patient. God, God's mercy has him wait because it's his desire that all will be saved. As we, as we enter into this busy holiday season, I know for me, I want to slow down a bit. I want to settle myself a bit. I want to enjoy the Christmas time a bit more. I think I've done better in the last few years where it hasn't been such a rush of chaos. But I know my calendar's full this year. And I know that it could get kind of crazy. As I enter the holiday season, it's my hope that I will take a breath, recognize that I have planned my, my ways, but the Lord will order my steps. And as I round each bend in the road, I shouldn't be surprised. God may have something totally different for me. And, and who knows what will come around those bends. Who knows if we will see the next season here on earth or if we will see the next season in the new heaven and the new earth. I don't know. I don't know how long any one of us have. One day, our calendar days will come to an end. And my, my prayer is that we will be ready as the scripture calls us to be ready to live holy and godly lives as we look forward to the day of God, to make every effort to be found spotless and blameless and at peace with him. You know, our sin, our sin brings us to, to war with God. We are at this, in this war with God. And, and Jesus came to bring peace to bring a peace between us and God. It's not a peace that says, oh, everything's going to be fine and dandy and all is going to be well and I'm, I'm never going to shed a tear again and I'm always going to sleep well at night. And That's not that kind of peace. It's a peace between us and God so that when the day comes, we will be ready. We don't know, again, I, I know I'm repeating myself, but we don't know when that final bend in the road will come. The question isn't, when is it coming? The question is, are we ready for its coming? We will spend an entire month planning and preparing for Christmas to come. We will put up decorations. We will buy and wrap gifts. We will make travel plans. We will buy food. We will fix food. Some will bake cookies. Others will bake all kinds of goody treats. We will go to concerts and we will go to, to events and parties and, and all sorts of things. We will do all sorts of things in preparation for December 25th because we know when that day is coming. But friends, are we going to be ready when the day of our Lord comes? I, I, I hope that we will be as ready for that day as we are ready for December 25th. I, I don't want this to be a downer message. I want this to be an encouraging message because the encouragement is the day is coming. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. You don't want to wake up on December 25th not ready. We don't want to wake up on that final bend in our road not ready. Let's get ready. Let's work together to get ready for that day. 
I hope you'll join us in our prayer time Monday through Thursday at 5.30 a.m. It's it's great if you can join us in the morning because you can chat with us and we can we can read your comments live and then we can comment and pray on those those notes. But if you can't, that's all right too. You can watch anytime during the day. You can watch previous episodes of our prayer times. Check those out. Check out previous random ramblings. And I talk a lot about being ready for that day because I don't think there's anything, anything more important in this life than being ready for that day. Do have a good week. Hope your Advent season is is just glorious. I hope that you are just bathed in that in that music and the peace and the hope and the love of Jesus Christ, the joy that comes with celebrating. I will see you next week along the bending road. Thank you for watching, and thank you for working together along this journey. Connect with me on social media or on my website at bendingroad.weebly.com. Let me know how I can pray for you as you navigate the bend in your road. I pray that when you see the bend in your road, you will not be afraid, but will take the hand of God and keep walking. You are not alone.